This is a step-by-step -step video of how to install and configure the Manager Logix Pinpoint. After downloading your software from the Rockwell Automation Product Compatibility and Download Center, PCDC, select and run the Pinpoint installer. Be sure this is installed on the same computer as your Studio 5000 software. When prompted to install, click the Install Now button, accept the EULA, and allow the installation to proceed. Find the newly installed application and link the Logix project to the Pinpoint application by selecting the ACD file from your machine. From here, we'll go into Factory Talk Activation Manager. We've already downloaded the required activations ahead of time. We can see them in Managed Applications, Find Available Activations. Here are the activations for the two feature strings that make up Pinpoint, RS Logix 5000 Service Edition and Thin Manager Logix Pinpoint. To install activations, go to Get New Activations and input your serial number and product key delivered from your purchase. Validate the activation. They will now appear in the Find Available Activations window. Thin Manager Logix Pinpoint automatically installs and registers a version of the Termmon ActiveX control that is needed to use the software. Find the termmon.ocx file and copy the file. Next, navigate to the folder to replace the existing termmon.ocx with the newly copied file. Rename the old file and paste in the new termmon.ocx file. Next, Navigate to Open Windows PowerShell as Administrator to point to the appropriate ActiveX control location on the computer's drive. Input the command REGSVR and then the termmon.ocx file and press Enter. You will see the action has succeeded and your ActiveX control is now registered. Open Factory Talk View Studio with the application and display you want to add your ActiveX object to. Alarm summary object in this case. Under the property panel, select VBA control value for the expose the VBA field. Right click on the alarm summary object in the display and select ActiveX events. Select event click for the ActiveX event and item for the event parameter. From here, right-click and open the associated VBA code to see the new event created. Here you can copy and paste in the starter code found in ThinManager Logix Pinpoint white paper. Be sure to always save any change you make in the VBA code. Now we will create the ThinManager Logix Pinpoint button on the main overview display within View Studio. You can copy and paste a different button or add a new one. In the control panel of the button, change the value of the exposed to VBA field to VBA control. Within the properties of the button, you can do things such as modify the appearance and name as desired. In this case, our button is referred to as button one. From here, right click and open the associated VBA code. Now we need to make sure the term on ActiveX control is activated whenever the Factory Talk View SC display is called. Refer to the ThinManager Logix Pinpoint white paper for additional VBA code if needed. Look for the subroutine with your button name, in this case button 1, with the action released. This can be changed if needed at the top of the window. Be sure to save your VBA code after making any changes. Save your displays in Factory Talk View Studio, and now you are ready to launch your Pinpoint application in Thin Manager. Now we will give a brief demonstration of Thin Manager Logix Pinpoint with the ISA 101 demo display client and the Pinpoint display client tiled in Thin Manager side by side. Within the alarm summary on your View SC display client, click any alarm, in this case the filler or the mixer, and see that instantly the Studio 5000 Logix designer file will navigate to the rung where the tag was triggered. 
From here, you can right click and cross reference the tag and interact with the code to proceed with troubleshooting, but without the ability to make changes. You can also now see the result from using the ThinManager Logics Pinpoint button that we created earlier. ThinManager Logics Pinpoint adds amazing functionality for Rockwell Logics users, doing just what it says pinpointing the exact location in your Logics code that an alert or problem has occurred.